Ferris here. Welcome to a new studio tour series that I'm doing, starting with my desk and creative space. So here's what the space looked like before I reorganized it. The drawing table was just too large and the space was cluttered. It was time to mix it up. So I've taken two existing desks and mocked up what I want to create. Pretty soon I'm gonna make a custom desk to replace this. So even though now I do a lot of designing and drawing with CAD, a lot of it is still done the old school way, putting pencil to paper and just working out the ideas. Over the years, we've been fortunate to do uh, some beautiful work for some amazing places. It all begins with design. And it's so important to have a nice, clean, organized space to work out these ideas. And that comes out in the final product. So the library is really the epicenter of the studio for me. I'm constantly pouring through books and getting ideas from different historic designs. Over the years, I've collected books on everything from sculpture to architecture, art, glass, because I believe in coming to a design and approaching it from several different angles. We love to make work for our customers that is totally one of a kind, something they could never get anywhere else. Even though the internet is an amazing resource, I still love to pick up books and just uh, read, let your mind rest, formulate ideas. Another important aspect of the studio space is my flat file drawers, which store over 25 years of drawings. These are everything from railings to gates to different sculptures that we've done. So it's not done yet, but I'm really excited with the direction that this space is headed. I do so many things here from just general office work to designing to research to CAD design. And I need this space to work for all of those. Thank you for following along with us on this creative journey. Uh, it's been a crazy career as a professional metalsmith, metal designer, but um, wouldn't trade it for anything and so grateful for the team that we have assembled here that I'm able to execute these projects with. Thank you for following the channel and subscribing.